guys, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is V and for today's video, I am watching Breaking Bad Season 4 Episode 5, Shotgun. So where we left off, Mike kidnapped Jesse. This is, I'm laughing because everything is going wrong. Like, I feel like with this show, everything is consistently going wrong and there's no relief because a new, like a new problem pops up somewhere. So the second you think things are gonna be smooth sailing or easy, nope, here's another problem. Walter has absolutely no idea where Jesse is. He probably thinks that he was probably kidnapped and murdered. Um, and he's gonna go straight to Gus is what I'm assuming. And the title shotgun means either the fact that Jesse is riding shotgun in Mike's car or that <laughs> Mike's gonna hold him up with a shotgun. I don't know, but we're getting into this. If you're interested in supporting the channel and want to watch this episode along with me in a full-length reaction format, be sure to check out my Patreon. I'll be linking that down below in the description. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this newest, ep this newest episode, newest for me, this episode of Breaking Bad. Tell me you understand, Saul! <laughs> I want you to give her every last dollar. Do you hear me? I don't care if you have to stuff it in the trash bag. Just make sure she gets everything. Skylar, is he trying to escape? I don't understand. <gasps> He's trying to escape something. Are you trying to find Jesse? He's gonna throw himself in danger. He's gonna probably pass away. He's he's preparing for that. Hi, you've reached the White family. Please leave a message. I, I just wanted to say that I was thinking about you and the kids. I love you. That was like his final goodbye thing. If it had to come down to that. This is like every BMW driver ever, ever. Have you guys ever seen BMW drivers on the road? That's them. Or like with the souped up, yeah, like this, or the souped out Subies or the Honda Civics, those three. He's still parked so nicely. So he's just going hard. Who we, who we about to kill, Walt? Who is on our list? We're in a, Gus. Make sure there's no, like, security guard in here. Is he gonna go to every Los po Poyos? Polos? Can't pronounce it. Is he gonna go to every chicken joint? Would you like to try our breakfast chicken chalupa combo meal? Gustavo Fring, your boss now. His car is parked out front. He's here. He was here. Mr. Fring was You just out. go in the back and you tell him it's Walter White. She's good at coming for her boss. She has Aubrey Plaza eyes where she doesn't, um, she doesn't care. She's just like done with everything. And they all pointed at him, yup. I don't know why, but that guy's face looked fake. I don't know how to explain it, but he doesn't look real. <laughs> oh, they're just patrons. Walt is just overthinking everything. Walter, what exactly are you doing? Jesse with me. Fine. Hold on. Yo. Jesse. What's up? What's up? Jesse, where, where, where are you? With Mike. <laughs> with Mike. We're going in circles, Jesse. All right. What's going on then? Vacation. Uh, we're driving. I hate these conversations. Jesse, give him something. Yeah. Why is he driving? Yeah, I, where is he going? I would. It's me. I would be asking so many questions, Jesse. I, I don't. I, yeah, put Mike on. Put Mike back on. Mike, give us information because this is too much. Like. Jesse's with me today. Today? So what you need to do is to go back to your lab and get on with the cook. That's what's going on. Goodbye, Walter. Is he taking him on a little vacation? Okay, so Jesse isn't afraid of death, so Mike can't threaten him with death. But he can threaten him with a good time? <laughs> is he gonna show Jesse life is worth living by taking him to, like, Six Flags? Hey, you're not allowed back there. As I said, sir, Mr. Fring is not here. And I have to ask that you leave immediately. She's really polite about it too. We're taking you to the ranch, Jesse. You guys know how, know how Dr. Phil has like that ranch for for kids that are bad, like the bad kids. It's like the retraining ranch. Jesse's going to the Dr. Phil ranch. <laughs> are you, uh, you figure on just leaving me in some ditch? What do you care? But I'll tell you now, you better shoot straight. I'll slice off your other ear before this is over. Yeah, you're being taken to the ranch, Jesse. Gus is in the trunk. <laughs> He's been in the trunk all along. He likes it better there. I don't know what to think, so I'm just guessing things. What are you 
don't want to v1 him right now. We digging holes now? Is that is that what we're doing? Oh, there's something there. He like tried to put the the shovel in the ground, but it was too it's too th condensed, like it's too th like thick. He was like, "No, nah, okay, never mind. We're taking the shovel back." Those gold coin commercials you see at like five in the morning. Just all of his gold coins. Uh, money. Okay. Wait. You coming? We gotta do this six more times today with a lot of miles in between. Mike has so much to do. He's a guard. He's a hitman. He does all the dirty work. And now he's basically... What is that company that goes and, and picks up cash from each establishment? He's like an errand boy. But he he's like a glorified one that kills people. Mike does he I know I know it's because he's the most trustworthy and all that but still it's like Scarface had sex with Mr. Rogers or something what the heck everyone in middle school your boy Heisenberg thought we had him already all he caught was a dipshit lifer by the name of Jimmy in and out Jimmy in and out this one he's your Heisenberg yeah I believe he is any names I should check out one is a Brandon Mayhew street name uh, Badger. Badger definitely not a player and the other one is uh Jesse Jesse Pinkman. So he doesn't want to really... He's treading lightly. You see Pinkman as a shooter? That would surprise me. Be surprised, Hank! Because it was. It's a guy neighbor saw at Bedecker's place right after the shooting. No, hang on to it, just in case. Tim. Not interested? Heisenberg, dead like this. Kind of feels like closure to me. You, know? you really are a big help here. No, I know. I, I, I get it. I Really. I'm done. Marie picked out that chair. And those curtains. 100%. You sure? I feel like he's not done. I don't think he is. I don't know. I don't know what the point of all this is. Like, how is this gonna change Jesse's mind about life? Take him to Six Flags. Like standing guard. You don't need to do that. This is why I'm out here. Be like your backup. Oh, don't. Uh huh. He's he's like honestly, don't even flatter yourself, Jesse. Hey, that means I need like a gun, right? Do not give Jesse a gun. Nope. He's like I would never. I mean, isn't that like completely idiotic for me to be out here without a gun? How does that even make sense? I can smoke, right? Not a chance. <laughs> oh, this is so chill. This is, look at this shot. I'm sorry, but this is such a sick shot. He's dying of boredom. Was that Mike's goal? Get Jesse so bored that he has to deal with his emotions and go through what he's feeling. It's finally hitting me what the, the plan is here. To bore me to death. I think so. I think we're on the right track, yeah. Look, don't you think it'd be good if there was some back and forth communication here? Mike hasn't really known. You got for me that. riding shotgun to every he dark said the title. recess of this state. Be nice if you clued me in a little. If I'm the guy, then you should just tell me what the hell's up. Is he gonna beat him up? You are not the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. Then what the hell am I doing here? I don't know. I just do what I'm told. Shut up and stay in the car till we finish our pickups. Oh, he snapped. He's angry. He had a guy. What happened to the guy? That scared me. It's like tar or something. What is that? I gotta say, I love how creative they got with the filming of this episode. This is one of the most creative ones I'm seeing with the, the cinematography. And the music mixed with it to have this kind of... It's really interesting ambiance to it. I don't know how to explain it. I just really am digging it. Visually, one of the sickest episodes so far. I mean, not even visually, just ambiance speaking. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so overall, it's a pretty slow episode. So I guess they have to like keep our interest and stuff like that with how creative they get with the vibe and because they don't really try to use too much dialogue. They're not trying to give us too much. It's like impossible. You have a good, solid business plan. I'm feeling very confident. <sighs> Walt, hmm. you good? Yeah. All right. Oh, my congratulations. Official business owners. Uh, Mr. White, best of luck. Thank you. 
Bring the car over first thing next week for a wash and wax. Oh, well, we'll be looking for you. I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you again. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Even Skylar's so charming. I don't know. If we're going to do this, then we have to promise each other no more secrets. Impossible for Walt. Impossible. There has to be complete honesty. He's I'm all for that. No, he's not. He's not going to be able to. How about a drink to celebrate? Nothing too expensive. Right, right. There's Walt. There's Walt's message. Uh, it's me. I, I just wanted to say that. I oh. You and the kids. And uh, I love you. Oh, how is Skylar going to react to this? She's going to be like, something's wrong. Oh, 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 I didn't. That's not what I expected. What happened to her boss, by the way? That's what I was not expecting. I thought that she was like, oh, yeah, something's wrong. You better tell me. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, my God. Also got a new haircut. Oh, no, yes. I, I was going to say something. Were you? Were you? Yeah. Mom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dad. Hey, son. Where are you? Uh, uh we're, we're back here. We'll be out in a minute. Oh, <laughs> yep. This is going to make for some very interesting dinner conversation. It is. Maybe you should move back in. I'm like, nope. You know, just so it's uh, easier to explain to everyone. <sighs> he's going to say no. Or he's going to say yes to appease her. I have to get back to work. I don't know why he would want to. Maybe not to put them in danger? Do, do we think Walt is forklift certified? I kind of have the feeling he's not. Oh my god. He's gonna, he's gonna break the barrel. Stop speeding! <gasps> At least it didn't open up. Hey! I just expected it to. Hey! Nothing else happens until I get my partner back! Jesse? Not Jesse. You people have me down here trying to complete a two-man operation by myself. Jesse operates the forklift, not me. Jesse is forklift certified, sir. That you get him back down here as soon as you put. He's like, I'm Are you gonna to me? operate the forklift. Hello. Where do you want it? Oh, this is a place I wouldn't want to be at night. Jesse, I'd be a little concerned. I'd be like, was this the plan? Drag him around, get him all over the place, bring him back to a scary alley at night. I've been counting, yo. No more pickups. Gus is after probably there. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Jesse, turn around. Oh, he has a shotgun. I was right. It was about someone gonna try and kill Jesse with a shotgun, and he was riding shotgun. Nice, 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 Jesse. Quick thinking. Not sure how this is going to go down. I'm going to need to be picked up. He came back for him. Cancel that. This dude was coming right at me with a shotgun. I didn't have a choice, okay? I had to put in reverse, slam into the guy's car. I saw. Are you gonna let him smoke? No, <laughs> of course he's not. Go ahead, kid. You owe, you earned it. Smoke up. See, Jesse's not so bad when you get to know him. He's just a little rough around the edges and not really, I'd say the most trust, I mean, he's trustworthy. I wouldn't say the most responsible. Morning. Oh. Think so. You want me to pour you some juice? Uh, I'll take a coffee. Didn't know you started drinking coffee. I, I just wanted to say, it, it's really cool to have you here. He's not asking questions. It's cool to be back home. Cool that he's not making it a big deal. Mom said you're moving back in um, this Tuesday. <laughs> she, uh, <gasps> she said that? Well, it was like, oh, I was planning on not moving in. How about that? Uh, how's that going to work? The mug? Benneke, 
he totally forgot about that. So much has been going on. He, he still has to talk to her about that. Jesse! Jesse! What are you doing? Uh, breaking ice. Where's your car? Mike dropped me off. That's probably, that's like the most efficient way to break it. They have all these crazy machines and fancy equipment. You can't break it more efficiently. What happened yesterday? Where were you? Because I was Mike helping make pickups. Mike made the pickups and I guarded him. You? <laughs> guarded Mike. Guarded Mike? That's what I'm saying, right? Two dudes try to rob us and I saved the stash. I took care of business. You want to stand there dicking around or you want to suit up and get to work? He was concerned. He was so worried. So I'm meeting up with Mike this afternoon. Guess I have two jobs now. He has... Mike is his new best friend? And Walt was sitting here so concerned, terrified for Jesse's well-being, and then his own. It all went like you thought it would, more or less. I will, of course, reimburse you for the damage to your vehicles. Vehicles? They were all him? Just like you wanted. The kid's a hero. Huh. He wanted to see that. It was a character test. Could have killed someone, and it was a test. Gus is crazy. You gonna put the kid to work? I've got school. Yeah, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your baby sister. I wouldn't let you near my car. <laughs> you should put Holly on the sign. I would get my car washed there every day if I saw her face out front. Why not me? No, no, no. The goal is to bring customers in, not scare them away. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another battle in the kitchen. Just help yourself. Oh, he's gonna cut himself. I think he's gonna cut himself. Why would you use a knife? I feel like you shouldn't use a knife, right? Oh, oh, wait. I guess you can. So much purple. You really didn't talk to Skylar since then? I, I, I can't wait to see what kind of car I'm going to get for my birthday. Hey, uh, Nick the Greek. You gonna share that bottle or what? Uh, yeah, sorry. Nick the Greek, he's a famous big time car player. You're giving positive reinforcement to behavior that Walt is working very, very hard. Bree's right, but it's, it's still funny. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Uncle Hank, what about that case you were looking at? This guy, Gail Bedecker, he was, uh, he was eccentric. I don't like how all this is going to be affecting Walt. He was a meth cook. I mean, we're talking five stars, candles, and white tablecloth. <laughs> he's, his ego is going to get the best of him. He's like, no, he's not the one. I need the credit. His, I feel like his ego is getting ahead of him. I'm not sure I agree. I mean, you showed me that notebook and from what I saw on Genius. He could never let anyone take his credit the ego is crazy just looks like nothing more than just simple rope copying and now you got him back on your tail you think you did something but your ego just got in the way hers. maybe he's still out there all because you wanted to make a comment because you don't want to hear gail being praised for your work <sighs> that was terrible Tim stopped by. He, he brought over some file boxes on that case. Sorry about the mess. No, 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 don't be. Sorry? He's being you nice. Yeah. Because he has something to dedicate his yeah, time to. His meaning for life has come back. I mean, not meaning for life, but Selena has given him meaning is back. You know, everything he, he, he buys and eats is uh, organic, vegan. Since when do vegans eat fried chicken? Oh, no, dude. We are back on the trail. So this episode really impressed me because although it not much really happened, if you kind of recap on it, it's essentially Jesse hanging out with Mike, finding out that that was, all of that was a test. And then um, uh, Skylar and Walt rekindle their relationship a bit. There wasn't much that occurred. It was a very slow burner episode, but it didn't feel like it. Walt's ego really got to him in this episode. Like he was drinking like crazy and he couldn't stand the praise that gail was getting because he was like no this is my work i deserve the credit even though it's highly illegal and can potentially put the dea on my ass so this was a wild ride of an es of an episode to say the least he doesn't look very happy they're dressed like criminals. Oh no, they're very cold. Oh, they're doing the shipments now. They look freaked out. No, 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 no! Uh oh, uh oh, um, time to, oh, they gotta be ready. They're gonna get shot through the thing as if they won't know already.
they're gonna smoke them out. The CO, oh my gosh, they're CO2 poisoning. Gotta get out. They know. <gasps> they're gonna kill him in such a brutal way. Oh my gosh, this is so brutal. This is horrible. They got creative with the killing. Who are they? This is, this is horrific. Dude, the, and this man is just eating sour cream and onion chips. And they're eating the man who just died his sandwich, his lunch. They gotta, they have to breathe it, they have to breathe it. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is terrible. The people literally fighting for their lives. They're just, people have gone to the wrong line of work. You sure you want to go in there without masks? Imagine if this was a normal, normal shipment. Now people are stealing the meth. As if this isn't so suspicious, like the cops aren't gonna come around and be like, dang, the armed men in this chicken batter truck? Uh, it's me. I, I just wanted to say that I, I was thinking about you and the kids, and uh, I love you. She, she senses urgency in his voice. She knows something's wrong. She's gonna start questioning him. All right, Walt, let's talk. No secrets for once, please. It's like, listen, if you're gonna question me, I'm not moving in on Tuesday. Skyler, I don't entirely remember what happened last night. Did you know this Gail Bedeker person? I can't even focus. On don't that. lie. Just say yes. What exactly. Be did honest. I say last night. Just enough. Yeah, Walt. Just enough. Who killed him? Was it the people you work for? Definitely not. It was my coworker. Walt called out the hit. He commanded it. Be honest. <sighs> he fell asleep in his clothes. He was that messed up, he couldn't even change? You told Hank that the man he was looking for might still be out there. Look, I don't want to talk about any of this, ever. She said no secrets. And then I remembered the message you left me the other day. Well, I think you're scared. Please be vulnerable with I think that message her. was some kind of goodbye. No. I think some part of you wants Hank to catch you. Exactly, yes! You're like Dr. Joyce Brothers here. For one second, don't be sarcastic. Stop being a jerk. Just be honest. If you are in danger, we go to the police. Oh, no. When you open your front door, hear about the you're police. not some hardened criminal. She doesn't even know. Stop trying to justify this whole thing and admit you're in danger. Is, it, is this the moment? Who are you talking to right now? Oh my gosh, is he going to say it? Iconic line. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. A guy opens he his door it. and gets shot. And I am not me. in danger, no. Skylar. I, I am, am the, the danger. He's the one who knocks. That's him. He's the danger. He's the one who knocks. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. I'm sorry, but I love that line. I always heard it everywhere and in that dumb little song. And I just, I loved it. I've, I've waited like this entire series to hear it. And now that I got to enjoy it, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Is that a scar? Look, I was... Uh-oh. What did you do? Skylar? At least it's not his underwear for once. It's in the towel now. She left. You done fudged up again. Again. Here we are. Just like you left it. Place sells as is. Understand? I don't want her coming back with more demands. She, she gave me hard time when we settled on price. I feel kind of bad. He worked his way from the ground up. Being boss is tough. It takes hard work. Boss has to be tough. Can you be tough, Walter? Way more than you know, Bogdan. I'm sure you can handle. And if not, you can always call your wife. Huh? He's like, Walt's like, I don't like being patronized. Always sticky. Yeah, no problem. As is. This must be heartbreaking for Bogdan. Who'd have thought that someday I would be handing these keys to you? Oh, he, like, clearly loves the place. Many years. Almost forgot. What if he says, as is? Can you imagine? Bogdan. As is. Oh! <gasps> what a hard ass! As is. If I were Bogdan, I'd, like, come back and steal it. I half thought Walt was gonna be like, do you want to work here? Do you want to be the manager? You know what it takes. But then again, we can't really trust him, right? See, I'm too soft. I could never be do that. But he, that was a good display of being a boss. Okay, he can't come back and steal it. That's the first dollar he probably made. And he's gonna use it to buy a soda. What a jerk. 
That's such a jerk move. That's like unbelievable coming from Walt. What's he eating? Lasagna? Cake? What the hell is that? Meatloaf? His hand's shaking. Maybe getting off the drugs? You okay there? It's not, not using us. Eat my lasagna, eat my leaf, meatloaf. Eat something. He's showing hospitality, showing care. He's like, somehow this is worse than not eating. He probably, because he's going through withdrawals, he, yeah. he has zero appetite, zero energy. I'm on my way. You need any help? No. I'd want to go. I'd be like, don't leave me alone. <laughs> uh, I'll come with you. It's, it's about the gambling, right? She she can't understand. It, it it's not like you're doing this on purpose. You can't help it. Yes, he can. That's the thing, Walter Jr. You have a disease. It, it's like you're an alcoholic, right? No. And she can't be mad at you about the cancer, can she? Son, I don't son, th these are two. Yeah, very that's not what different. she's mad at at all. Not really. What is going on with me is not about some disease. It's about choices. Choices that I have made. You're not moving back in, are you? No. Why don't we take a little detour? To the car wash? Aunt Marie's house? Buying a car! Nice! I think it's time we got you your own car. What do you think? I, I think if you're gonna buy me off, buy me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not any of these. There's no way he just got this. Skylar's gonna be so mad. She's already mad, but she's gonna come back and be even angrier. Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it's good looking. We can't just make these purchases, Walt. Glad he, you like it. Skylar freaked out over an expensive bottle of wine. Imagine this. You're actually here to work. Yeah, man. Jesus. Jesse. Jesse. We need to cook, Jesse. Come here. Jesse, you need to see the the car I bought my son, Jesse. We pick up money, check on things, stuff like that. And you're his bodyguard, right? I guarded him. And this has to be you. It can't be Tyrus or any of the couple dozen muscle heads that Gus has working for him. He's a you're real a tough Navy guy. Seal? Yeah. Do you have to have your hands registered as lethal weapons? Now register yes. this. <laughs> register this. I saved Mike from getting robbed. Why does he sound like, he, why does he look like he's had the most devastating news given to him? What if it's all well, just a setup? Your first day out guarding Mike, he steps out for one second and what happens? You immediately get robbed. Gus can't kill you because of me. He goes to work driving a wedge between you and me. This is true. This is true. How long did those guys chase you? Because the way you describe it, they gave up pretty damn easy. Why wouldn't this they go thing, back for the money? All of this, it's all about me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I, that's also like a meme template where I, I you, you guys know what I'm talking about. I just saw it earlier today. I didn't realize that was two in one episode. I'm spoiled. We are spoiled here. Hello. His ego is crazy, but he's on the right track. Uh, look, just hang on. I'll be right up. What? I gotta go. Am, am I supposed to clean all this on my own? Oh my gosh. They are driving a wedge between them. Buenos dias, ladies. Ayuda. 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 Gracias. Necesito ayuda a limpio. He is bringing them into the meth lab. Por favor. Entra. Entra. See? It's just this. No. No, 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 no. No podemos. No, no podemos. Not allowed. Universal language. Dinero. No. Por usted. Oh. But it's dead. <laughs> See. I feel like they're all gonna be murdered in a second. Por favor. Por favor. Almost, what is it? Only 50s, right? Dos oros maximum. <laughs> yes. This is awful. It, sometimes I feel like you're so clever, and other times you are just reckless. You're putting other people's lives in danger. That's not cool. I feel like now because they know what's down there, Gus is gonna murder them. Holly's getting big. Big girl. Look at her little, little ears. So cute. The four corners, huh? It's really, it's wow, it's really flat. That's really cool. What is she doing? Is she gonna do like a sacrificial thing with her child? 
Is she flipping a coin for where she's gonna move? What state is that? Colorado is a beautiful state. Do Utah, do Salt Lake City. I've always wanted to go. Here, it's one of the most beautiful places in the entire United States. Two out of three? You can't do that. You just bought a car wash. Wait, wait, wait. So she took Holly and she's starting a new life in Colorado. I hate to say it, but you have a family and you kind of said you were okay with being involved in this. You know, you could have separated from Walt completely, but you now are in business with him. The deal is we're watching that house. What for? There's some guys in there that have three pounds of our product, and which they sure as hell didn't get from us. Why don't you just go break the door down? These guys are heavily into the product and most likely are. Now, what you may not know about meth heads, maybe you do, <laughs> they're kind of unpredictable. Don't worry. I brought sandwiches. Look at Mike taking care of Jesse. Love him. I respect Mike so much. He, sa he says what he does and sticks through it, and he's not unpredictable. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's Where are you going? There. So they're selling, right? Maybe I'm looking to buy. Who the hell are you? I'm here to buy. Tucker, not my question. My name's Diesel. Tucker! Would you maybe add some of the blue? We don't sell the strangers. Get off the porch, asshole. Tucker! Maybe Jesse's gonna learn a thing or two. I love that Mike let him do his thing. Guess we'll go with plan A then. <laughs> Up the trunk, would you? <sighs> Shovel? There's something in there I need. You may know this whole P.I. sit in the car business, but I know meth heads. They hate when you dig holes in their lawn. There's three things they hate is not meth, not having meth on hand, overpriced meth, <laughs> and digging holes in their yard. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think of the third one. <laughs> he really is digging a hole in his yard. Are they attracted to holes? I don't, I don't, to holes in the yard? Is this like a thing? What are you doing? Digging. Why? I, I don't know. Well, you know why. Pretty deep. Did they bury the product or money in the thing? You mind taking over for a minute? He's like a really cool meth head. Wait, he's not wearing shoes. This upsets me. Mike is like, what the hell? You can get them to do manual labor for you? Mind if I use your John? <laughs> he's going in with no weapon too. Mike is like this son of a gun. Look at him. He's kind of proud at it of him. Look at him. This is gutsy. This is super gutsy. Tucker! The hell are you? It's cool. I'm a friend of Tucker's. What do you want? He's got a gun. Just want to buy some of the blue. Tucker told me. Yeah, well, Tucker needs to learn to keep his damn mouth shut. Tucker! Hey, hey, let's go find Tucker. I don't have enough for you, all right? I'd be scared of him just pulling the trigger just because he feels like it. I don't want to start any trouble. Trouble? Trouble? What does that mean? Trouble? I don't know. You can't know that. What does that mean? What? You don't put thoughts in my head. You're right. Tucker. <laughs> Mike, how did you get in? Is Tucker still digging the hole? Do meth heads love digging holes? Is that a thing? Hi, everybody needs to tell me right now. He's still working on that hole. He's suddenly wearing flip-flops. I thought that he wasn't wearing any shoes. I forgot Walt did this to these poor women. They don't know what kind of danger they're in. He is the danger. Where are you taking? Putting them on a bus. It takes them back to Honduras. Hey. Because of you, Walt. You tell Gus to blame me, not them. He does. At least they don't kill him. I feel terrible. That breaks my heart. And all because Walt threw a couple dollars at their faces. They had a moment of weakness because that was like, oh, more money probably for my family. I don't have to work so hard. Give us a minute, will you? Walt is now becoming the problem. It was all about sending a message. It was written on the bucket lid. Ready to talk? That I believe is the English translation. But let me hire 10 more good operators. No, this war stays cold for now. You gotta just change up the shipment now. What about their message? What's the answer? Set up a meeting. Let's see what they have to say. How do you contact them? How did he do today? I hear you can handle yourself. I guess. Hey, excuse me. Why me? I like to think I see things in people. Anytime I see Gus show up on screen, I immediately get very tense. 
Oh, my, yeah, she's moving to Colorado. That was the last straw. The car is not going anywhere. Mom! Hey, sweetheart. Did you see what's in the driveway? So that's yours, huh? <laughs> yeah, Dad got it for me. They're like on opposite sides of the room at like all times. Dad said I can take you around the block a few times. Is that okay? Just join the block. Hey. It's really great to have you home, Mom. Dude, her heart's breaking because she knows she's going to leave soon. I want you to know something. I want you to, I need you to understand that you are safe. She looked afraid. You, Junior, Holly, everything that I do, I do it to protect this family. So buying that car. All right, maybe it's a little flashy, but. And I'm his father and I should he, be able she's to. She's going to tell him. Wants. It goes back. That car directly contradicts our story. It's like Walt doesn't think sometimes. What were you thinking, Walt? I was thinking that I wanted to do something nice for my son. I just worry that he'll blame you for this. Once again, he'll blame his bitch mother for taking away what his loving father has given him. So thanks for that. Walt keeps putting Skylar in this position. I feel really bad for her. Someone has to protect this family from the man who protects this family. Since he is the danger, he made that very clear. <sighs> Dang. That made me really anxious. So just when we think things are going easier again, they go bad. It gets really hard, it gets difficult, and things are at an absolute standstill, just ice cold between Walt and Skylar because, I don't know, their relationship stresses me out so much. It's really sad, and it just seems like this whole episode was showing how volatile Walt can be, opposed to Jesse. It seems like Walt was more calculated, but now he's kind of like, he's com he's slowly starting to unravel, and he's making these decisions that are impulsive and they're dumb, and he's letting his ego get in the way. So it's kind of weird to see Walt unraveling. And then you have Jesse over here, who he, he looks like he has a new line of work for him and Gus is maybe starting to like him. I don't know, but Walt can also be completely right about them doing that with Jesse just to put the wedge between them. With each episode, it's like more stuff adds to the story that complicates relationships and shows more of people's characters and like how much they've changed we're gonna see how it's gonna continue on thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys in the next video bye everyone